You have reached the morning cryptos. This is Mark Shepard, the singing hypnotist, singing about the beautiful, delightful, exciting world of cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. Uh, what did I tell you guys? Did I did I say this? Did I? Are you listening to me? <laughs> I had a couple of friends who were like, "Dude, I gotta get some Bitcoin." I'm like, "Well." That was like four days ago. I'm like, well, right here, with this right now would be a good time to get in. And uh, they were busy. <laughs> they didn't get in. <laughs> and yesterday they got in, <laughs> or the day before. And they will make money because Bitcoin is not going to stop at 4000 However, it's not going to go directly to 5000 without a few steps back, okay? That's that's how this always works. Just look at this chart. See all the red candles? <laughs> Those were down days. Um, this is a nice little step back, but look at where the support is. It's really got some support at four thousand. You know that's that's crazy that it has support at four thousand. However, it may retrace even more depending on the news. And the slowness of the network as more and more people jump in, the network speed is really a challenge with Bitcoin. And uh, it's you don't need to be an expert to know that, right? But let's look at what we got going here. Let's, on the one hour, right? Look at the one hour. What do we have? We have ascending bottoms, okay? When I see that, like if I saw this on the one day chart, I would be getting in, right? On the one hour chart, it it has this range. And the people that are buying this stuff with, you know, they're not watching my videos, these, these particular two people, and I love them dearly. And you know what? We all have to make our own mistakes, right? I'll find out what it takes. By the way, if you haven't watched my Bitcoin theme song, Freedom, uh, you should definitely check it out. It's, uh, I think I put it up. Is video for on Monday, August 14th or something like that. Um, and uh, if you need a little theme song, that would be it. So we have a little retracement. It's come off the top of the top of the top. Is it the top of the top or the bottom of the top? It's Right now, it's at the bottom of the top, right? And, and look at where the support is over here. We got support here. So it will, it may dip back down to the 3,800 range, 3,900. Um, we don't know. It may go sideways for a while. That's the beauty of this. We don't know. That's what makes it interesting. We don't know. But the trend is your friend. If you look at it, you know, from a couple of different perspectives, here's the, the 30 minutes. Not a bad place to get in. It's working sideways. These are the retracements that you want to play. And I, I I do my best to not buy Bitcoin unless I see some kind of pattern like this. And I try my best not to buy any coin unless I see this kind of pattern. Okay? So that's it for my admonishment. Let's look at one week. And look, on the one week chart, of course this little thing is in the way. Let me get my eraser. Figured out how to use this eraser thing. Boom. Um, on the one week, back to my arrow, on the one week, it doesn't look down at all, right? It's still up. But look at this little, this little, I guess they call it a whisker, right? So that's interesting. Let's look at the, uh, let's look at the one month. Oh, look, it's not down at all, <laughs> right? There's a whisker. It pushed up, got back, right? This is a very dynamic thing. However, look at this big push here. It had a back, you know, that was back in 2013, right? So we have not yet seen major retracement. Why? Because fundamentally, this is a brand new world that's being opened up. Remember when someone first said to you, hey, do you have email? And you didn't have email yet, right? And then you got email. Right? Remember when you didn't have a cell phone yet, but somebody else had a cell phone and said, hey, do you have a cell phone? You didn't have a cell phone. Remember when you uh, uh, didn't have the internet yet, 
right? Or maybe you saw a dial-up and somebody else was doing broadband, right? These changes come and the world moves into them. And that's where we are right now. And I think at some point in the next year or two, you will see this thing go so much higher because the stock market's in, you know, record bubble. The uh, real estate market's in a record bubble. The bond market's in a bubble. And we're in a revolution. This is a revolution where you and I can just send money to each other. If you have a wallet and I have a wallet, if you have Exodus wallet, I can send you Litecoin and Dash and Ethereum. I can send you a lot of different things besides Bitcoin. We are in a brand new world, people. Get used to it. And you are in the cutting, leading edge. And it's exciting. And there's some kind of scariness and there's some volatility. So I say be careful out there. Let me get this back to one day. And then we'll go on to the others. So again, I've said this before. I'll say it again. Do not buy in a surging up market. And why do you why do you buy when it's at the top? Because you're afraid it's going to go higher and leave you, right? And you're not going to get on the train. There's always a seat on the train. There's always a time to get in. And sometimes you just got to make a decision and buy it, even if it isn't the perfect time. Because some people stay on the sidelines waiting for the perfect time. The perfect time. Oh, the perfect time. Oh, oh, the perfect time. Right? There's never a perfect time. And when you buy, start buying and selling it, you'll get that. You can buy it at a race, retracement here, and then when it goes up higher, you can sell it. Right? Or it may, it may come back more. Right? So, I don't know if I shed any light on that, but Bitcoin's not going anywhere, people. And this is just a breather. It will breathe. It may breathe deeply. Ethereum, you know, was over several thousand percent up and it took a deep breath. What was it? A month or so ago. As soon as the chart loads. Do, 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 do. And this is, this is, I'm not even on Wi-Fi. I'm going direct into a big pipeline called broadband cable. All right, here we go. Ethereum, notice Ethereum had a huge surge up and then it had a pullback, right? And we are now around, we're, we're playing with 300, right? So I bought some Ethereum a couple of days ago, probably up here, right? And um, trust me, when, when Bitcoin, when Bitcoin's not the star of the moment, Ethereum will do interesting and exciting things as well. So check out Ethereum. And look, it's up on the one hours. Ethereum is making a nice push here. And it will probably see if it can touch 300. But, you know, maybe not today, maybe tomorrow. But we're early in the day. That's where I'm looking for Ethereum to be. And that's cool because I think I bought some over here. I can't remember. I, I think bought around here. Um, so, yeah. So that's the one hour. And uh, there's the 30 minute. See, even in the 30 minutes, it pushes up and pulls back. It's constantly breathing, people. Right? Constantly breathing. <sighs> there's the one minutes. Right? And here's what's happening. You got trading bots, right? And they're 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 taking profits here. They have a little buy signal when it moves a certain amount. They take profits. The market pauses, and they buy back again. Then they sell, buy and sell, buy and sell, buy and sell. And I hope that's what some of the, the crypto cranker programs are actually doing. That's what they say they're doing. And in my next video, we'll we'll update the crypto cranks, uh, the programs that I use to crank up crypto, <laughs> uh, and get it growing fast. All right. So that's it for Ethereum. I'm still, I'm still bullish on Ethereum. I, you know, I have some, I don't have a ton of it, um, but I have some. Sometimes it just, if you have a hundred bucks on it, it focuses you, as I've said before, it gets you interested. <laughs> and you, you suddenly care. When your money is in it, you care. That's all. And you learn better. At least I do. That's how I, if I have a little money in it, I pay attention to it and I go, okay, what can I learn from this? Mmm. God, I love coffee. 
And I have, I have quit coffee from time to time. I always go back. All right, now, Dash. Thank God. Dash is finally listening to my advice. <laughs> Dash is, what did I say? A couple of days ago, I said Dash is in triple top, triple top. It's actually quadruple top. We got a top here, top here, top here, top here, top here. And um, Dash has made a move. I'm looking for Dash to break out of this upward range. I've been saying that for a couple of days now. That's what I like about this. I can watch it develop and uh, let's look at my dash. My dash is up a little 647 in my wallet of dash. And uh, so good. Go up dash. I would like dash if Dash is listening to me finally, Dash, I'd like you to go up to at least 230. <laughs> right? Like any of this stuff listens to us. Okay? It's so interesting to watch the human mind around this. As a student of the human mind, you know, our what we want to have happen and our projections and even pers personifying some of these markets. Like I was talking about Litecoin as my new girlfriend or something. It's like... That's human craziness, but these markets are alive. These markets, groups of people are predictable. Individual people are not, right? So this is a group. This is, this is literally the EKG of a bunch of people's thoughts, including bots that have been trained to do what they are told to do. <laughs> so I'm liking Dash, and uh, we have a nice little push here. On the one hours, uh, see, I like the one hour chart because you can really kind of see what it's doing when you're thinking of buying, right? I am, I'm strongly, you can still get into Dash. This is a good, good spot to get in. <clears throat> it's made its move. It'll probably retrace a little bit and then give another push and then retrace a little bit and give another push and eventually it'll push through. Because, uh, you know, Dash is a currency that doesn't have the problems that Bitcoin has right? It's not slow, right? It's been designed with all the problems that Bitcoin is having in mind, and they avoided most of the problems, right? Now, Dash may have other problems, but right now, look what it wants to do, okay? Triple top, triple top. Whenever I see a triple top, every time I've seen it, it pops. You know, it doesn't pop maybe instantly, but eventually it pops. There's a ton of support as I've said before, there's a ton of support below pushing up, right? The trend is up, and yet it hasn't gone beyond this one spot. Eventually, it does. It's kind of like um, it's kind of like plate tectonics, you know? The, the plates are rubbing, and they're rubbing, and then finally they move, and they have an earthquake, right? The push, 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 you know, it's that tension, that stress, and then it slips, and then it goes. So that's, that's what's going on. <laughs> I like doing this. Thanks, guys, for watching. Um, I love my crypto crypto predictions, early morning cryptos. Okay, so that's it for Dash. I think I've said enough. Litecoin, let's look at Litecoin. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Mm-hmm. Any day now, goldprice.org. When I first came to Gold Price, they did not have all these other cryptos. They just had Bitcoin. <laughs> all right, so Litecoin again. We are now in one, two, three, four, four tops on this level. And then we have this big top, which is where it kind of wants to go. And again, we have this support from below. So I'm liking Litecoin. This is a good time to get into Litecoin, people. If I were you and I am not you, I would. And I am me, so I did. I didn't buy a lot. But if all the other stuff falls apart, I have a little bit in my wallet of Litecoin. And that, that could keep me in business if everything else crashed, <laughs> right? So 
and, and I'm not talking about the currencies, I'm talking about the crypto cranker programs that I've been uh, exploring with great trepidation and excitement. All right, so that's, that's Litecoin. I don't know what else to say other than, what are you waiting for? It's at a perfect buy, perfect buy signal. And, you know, Litecoin, everybody says, oh, I wish I'd bought in Bitcoin when it was at in the 40s, when it was below 100, when it was below 500, when it was below 1,000, right? Hello, people. <laughs> Litecoin is a good currency. It's run by good people, and it's traded on uh, Coinbase. Like, you can get it. It's going to be, there will be a time, not too long from now, when all of the, the cryptocurrency debit cards will be you can fill them with Litecoin or Ethereum or Bitcoin, probably with Dash, maybe with Monero. Um, and I'm going to start researching some of the other cryptos and seeing how they're doing. But the news is so overshadowed right now by Donald Trump and by Bitcoin. It's like little news items don't get heard, right? That's how our mass media works. So I would advise get away from the mass media, get some quiet time every day and just look at these and see how you can understand and think about them, right? Because this is your future. From now on, you are the bank, right? We have to take charge of this, and that's what I'm all about. I'm all about taking charge of your change. Master your mind for a change. Master your money for a change. And keep the change. So, this has been the Morning Cryptos. I'm like a light coin. There's the one hour's. There's the 30 minutes. Ooh, nice time to get in on Litecoin right now. Right right now, this morning. <laughs> and there we go. So, um, that's it. Uh, my next video, I'm going to talk about the crypto crankers and what's working, what looks like it might stop working, what the long-term, medium, and short-term plans are for cranking up your crypto. My name is Mark Shepard, the Singing Hypnotist. If this was helpful to you, please subscribe, like, and share this. And there are links below every one of my videos if you want to get involved in some of the other programs. If you want to buy um, cryptocurrencies, there's a link uh, below this video for Coinbase Exchange. And if you do 100 bucks worth of, of Bitcoin, they will pay you $10 of Bitcoin and they'll pay me $10 of Bitcoin. It's a win-win. And it's the place to get started if you haven't get, gotten started. At least open an account on Coinbase and buy a hundred bucks of something, of Bitcoin or Litecoin or Ethereum, so that you can watch it. And every day, come and check out what what they're doing and what I'm thinking about it, and then check out some what other people are thinking about it, and then make your own decisions, right? That's, that's how this works. We're all in this on our own, and yet we can support each other and create perhaps a mastermind of people who are taking charge of their money for a change. And uh, so this is day 17 for me of my 90 day challenge. It is August 16th. I forgot to say that at the beginning, I think. I don't know. I'm still drinking my coffee, waking up here. Mm. And I do check these markets pretty much throughout the day, here and there. And uh, that's it. Talk to you in the next one. My name is Mark Shepard. Peace, grooviness, over and out. And I will see you on the inside of something. I don't know what, but we'll, I'll see you on the inside. Mm -hmm. Cue the music!